Hey YouTube, this is Resident Amusement Park Fan 62. Um, today I I want to compare something um, in the amusement industry, Six Flags versus Cedar Fair, and how they did with the um, current circumstances. Now, please note I first of all I've not been to a Six Flags park, so don't I don't know entirely all their procedures just from what I've seen um, on YouTube and stuff but that could change here pretty soon but with that being said um, this is some of the the differences and the the same type thing first the the their ways to get into the park are almost the same uh, both parks require or required um, reservations. Now, Cedar Fair dropped that with a lot of their parks because uh, they weren't reaching capacity, so why bother? Now, the first difference with this is Cedar Fair has a guy standing by a sign ask um, do you have any of these symptoms if you say no you go for it and there's a guy that takes your temperature the Six Flags way is uh, you now they may have something similar but then you just walk through and it's a machine that takes your temperature and checks your bag so I kind of like the Six Flags method better because you can just walk through easily because that way you get, it does two for the price of one compared to Cedar Fair where it's like a guy just has to check your bag and stuff. Now, the next one where they're the same is they both require masks. Um, of course, masks are nothing new. Um, but... Now, the next thing is this. Um, now, as far as I'm aware, both parks are enforcing the mask policy the best they can and the social distancing and so forth. But this is where Six Flags, I think, excels in a little bit. And that is the ordering for like food and stuff. Um, because with Cedar Fair, um, you just basically go to where you want to eat and tell them what you want, pay for it, and go. Where with Six Flags, you can order it through the app, um, the Six Flags app for whatever park you go to. I kind of like it better that way just because you... Because that way you don't have to deal with the cash and stuff like that. Now, the next thing that they're the same in are the souvenir cups. Now, what, what I mean by this is no matter if you have like a day pa a cup or a season cup, um, they both will give you a Coca-Cola cup. Some may um, put the drink in for you. Some of them may let you do yourself. But, um, and they'll have these signs that says, like, only cups allowed for this machine are pla um, foam cups or something. Now, um, both parks, as far as I'm aware of, do clean the rides every so often. Now, I think at Kings Island was, like, every hour. I think it was. Um, now, the next thing is they both are figuring out new ways to try and get around a lot of this and keep their parks open and to have events coming up such as Fright Fest or Halloween Haunt 
Now, I am interested in how they're going to do something like that. Considering how big of a crowds those events bring, but we have to see.